Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got an IPA for you and it's an IPA from Northern Monk. And it's a can of their New World IPA coming in at 6.2% ABV. There is a look at the artwork. Very nice indeed. A lot of green going on with this one. Really jumps off the shelf this. Um, I can't remember where I picked this one up from now. It might have even come in my latest beer 52 box, I can't remember. That's not very good. Um, pretty fresh though, it's good till February of next year. So yes, New World, India Pale Ale, uh, loads of information on the can here. Uh, it says, the first hops from the New World arrived on UK shores in the 1800s. Packed with a New World of flavour, citrus, zest and pine, this is our tribute. Unpasteurised, I'm fine, this is a fresh product and should be experienced as such. Keep it cool, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, from uh, Northern Monk Brewery, this one, uh, based in Leeds. I'm sure you've all heard of Northern Monk before, so this is their New World IPA. <sighs> Believe it or not, I don't think I've actually had this one before, so um, looking forward to this. 6.2% ABV IPA to get my uh, Friday evening off and running. Lovely colour to it, look at that. Boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Looks good. Certainly looks good. <clears throat> Quite a lively one. I gave that a bit of an aggressive pour at the end there. But yeah, there's the artwork. More importantly, there's the beer. Orangey in colour. Peachy. Pale orange in colour. Big two finger fluffy white head on it. Pretty hazy. You're not seeing much through that one. Looks lovely. Does look good. Let's get an aroma. Oh, lovely tropical fruit aroma. Nice hoppy aroma. Does it say what hops are used? I don't think it did. Did it? Contains malted barley. Doesn't say. Well, uh, malted barley, hops and yeast. <clears throat> Doesn't specify what hops were used, unfortunately, but never mind. But it smells lovely. Lots of tropical fruit, lots of grapefruit, lots of passion fruit. Bit of mango, piney aroma to it, nice citrus aroma. Oh, it does smell good. You get the hops in there as well. Let's get stuck in. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Quite light to start off with. That tropical fruit, piney flavours there. Here come the hops. That's nice. It's quite juicy, this one. Ah. That's a good sign when you make that noise, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Really juicy. Really fresh. Tropical fruit, citrus. Really refreshing IPA, this one. There's the hops. And it fills up all your back of your mouth. That hoppy bitterness at the back end, not overly bitter, but a nice use of hops. Really fresh, quite thin body this one. Oh, it's really drinkable. It's going down a treat. Quite a thin body. Nice gentle carbonation. But all that tropical fruit, it's really quite juicy when it first hits your tongue. Fresh, juicy, citrusy, quite crisp, really rather nice. And just as that kind of fruitiness is just starting to die down in your mouth, the hops then come up and you get this really nice sort of gentle, gentle bitterness from the hops at the back end. It's a good beer. That's a good IPA. Yeah, that's cracking. That really is nice. Really is nicely made IPA, that. Northern Monks New World IPA. I really like that. Um, I would drink that again. I would buy that again. Definitely. Um, I'm sure most of you have probably already had this one at some point. It does seem to be available all over the place. 
Um, yeah, so uh, New World IPA from Northern Monk. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I think that's really good. That's a really, really good IPA from a very good brewery. Um, yeah, so 9 out of 10 for the uh, Northern Monk's New World IPA. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.